Sit down by yourself and question yourself. What is really your goal? And I'm going to give you some signs about how to know what pathway you are on. In your comfort zone, in your private comfort zone, what kind of a person are you? What are the things that you normally do? What are the things that you listen to? What are the things that you like looking at? I know some young people, maybe even older people, you put them in their comfort private zone and you give them a screen to look at and the internet and it makes you sick if you were to see what they are looking at, who they are talking to, what kind of activities they're doing. As an educator, a teacher, and a student counselor as well, young people at the age of 14, 15, and 16, even 17, boys and girls, how often they approach me talking about their secret affairs, what they do in private, but they are too afraid to talk to their parents about. That's who they really are. Who you really are is what you do in secret. Because you know the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he was talking to his companions and he said about the majority of his ummah, the Muslims, the majority of the members of his ummah will end up in hellfire, not because of common sins that everyone else does, not because of major sins such as alcohol and zina. But he said, when they were alone, in secret in their comfort zone when they are alone in private with the things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden in tahakuha they penetrate the forbidden boundaries they look at things which they don't they're not supposed to look at they begin to talk and say things which they are not supposed to they chat with people whom they don't even know who they're chatting with across the world behind usernames about things which serve their desires. They listen to things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden them to listen to because that's what they desire. And the majority of people from the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will enter hellfire because of what they do in private which no one else knows. You know why? It's not because of doing that sin. Some of them are minor sins. In fact, the majority of them are minor sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not put the people from the ummah of Rasulullah in the fire because of merely just the sins. But you see, when you are alone in your comfort zone, that's who you really are. It's who you really are. And that's the reason why members of the ummah of Rasulullah may end up being tortured or punishment, punished, not because of the actual acts which they are doing, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving, He's merciful. But it's because that's what defines who you really are in your identity. That's who you really are. Now let's look at the opposite effect. There are people who you see them smiling in front of you. They're in the masjid, they're cheerful. And you think, subhanAllah, they've got no problems at all. But when they are alone between them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they make wudu. They pray two rak'ahs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They stand long in their salat. And their smile turns into tears. They're crying when they're alone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are the mu'mineen whose true identity is really the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 